Hello everyone, it's Tapastical, and today's tutorial will be how to make a duct tape um, travel wallet, and I came up with this layout. It's really easy, it looks like, it's really cool, it looks like this. It has an ID, a card pocket, um, a billfold, and then a coin pouch. So it's really cool, and it's really small, and... It's really good for traveling, or if you just need to, you don't have that much money to put, to take, or like maybe you don't want to bring your entire wallet, you could just put a little of money in here, your ID. It's great for school too, for lunch money and everything. Um, so you have a little place for change, you have a place for your cash, maybe some gift cards or any like you, any other cards, and then your ID, your school ID or your driver's license. Okay, so the entire thing took a little bit less than 30 minutes. Um, now it's all sped up to only 5 minutes. Um, just this part. So you want to start off by cutting a piece of tape that's about 2 millimeters less than um, 3 inches. And you want to cut 4 of those strips. And overlap one on top of the other. To make it three and a half inches tall, so it should be three and a half by three and seven eighths. Now I'm getting the other two pieces and placing it sticky side to sticky side. Leave a trim and fold it over. So now we have our base piece. Now we're gonna make um, our um, coin pouch piece. So you're gonna just cut three more strips that are three and seven eighths. I was kind of thinking here, so now what you want to do is just place one over the other, kind of like you do a card pocket. Now get the other piece, overlap it just a little bit, and then fold it in on itself. Put that aside, and now I'm getting another piece of tape that's um, 7 inches, and this is going to be for the card pocket. I'm just going to cut it in half to make it 3.5 and 3.5, and, and, and now I'm just going to put it sticky side to sticky side. I place it on my cutting board and I'm grabbing my ID slot. Make sure that your card can fit on your card in your card pocket and on your big piece. And I trimmed it to make it the size of my huge piece. And now, so it should be three and a half inches tall, and the width should be able to fit your card pocket. Now I'm cutting a piece of tape that's three and a half inches and cutting that in half. Place your ID onto your card pocket. First, what you want to do is trim the ID on one of the long sides. I actually was a little uneven. So now what you want to do is grab your card pocket and fold the trim over on the card pocket. Now we're going to place it on and grab the other half piece. And if you have any stickiness on the bottom of the card pocket, just make sure to hide it with the ID. Now I just secured it onto the mini wallet piece there. Just grab a small about one inch piece of tape and I'm just going to trim the ID from the top. And you should have that. It should be really nicely trimmed on all the sides. Now I'm getting a piece of tape that's same, just cutting um, four more strips that are the same size as our um, other billfold piece, and we're just going to make our other billfold. It's kind of hard calling it a billfold because it's going to look like a regular billfold that you do in wallets. So now I'm just putting it sticky side on sticky side. So just as you made that first piece that we made, fold over the trim, and this is going to be for our ziplock. So I had to just get some extra pieces of tape to cover up all that stickiness because there was a lot of stickiness on it. So try not to. Make it like that. Now I cut a piece of tape that's three inches. Cut it into fourths. Now I grab my Ziploc piece. I first trimmed it. And it was a little too big, so I just... Oh, so you want to trim the top so it's about two millimeters. Now place some on the very top. Make sure you don't cover the Ziploc part. And I just placed it along the... Um, piece the small piece there and adding the other piece of tape to secure it down now I'm getting my bigger piece and I covered up some sticky there I trimmed the other 
um, it's a block. I not trimmed it. I just placed a piece of tape there. Now I, it's kind of complicated what I did, but I just placed it on there so that when I fold it down, um, it would be stuck to the other piece. Now I secured the other side, and now I'm getting those two, putting them together. Get a piece of tape that's three and a half inches, cut it into one half, and then cut the other sh the other half strip into two more strips. Now I'm just um, attaching the wallet by just folding one piece over on the other side. Okay, so what I did here was that I folded that top trim for the ID to the card pocket. So now I'm undoing that and make sure, so it should look like that. And now I'm folding it. I had to separate the card pocket with the ID. Fold that only in the ID, leaving a space for the card pocket. Right there. I'm grabbing my half strip and I'm cutting that in half again. And I'm just getting a small thick piece and placing that on the card pocket and then folding it over on the other side. Should look like that. Now I'm just securing the other side. Placing half of it and then folding it over and then placing the other half there. Okay, now we're almost done. Now you have to secure the bottom. So I just got that piece there. You could just cut a piece that's the exact size, but I just cut it in half. And don't really worry about how it looks. Okay, now I'm just gonna place it on the ID part, not the opening side. Just make sure that you, always make sure that the trim is on the top, your billfold trim. Now I'm just gonna fold it over. And now cut on top of the coin pouch and on top of the card pocket. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Um, the ID was too small, so I had to get some of that trimmed um, Ziploc, but I had to trim some of it and I just added it along the bottom. That's why it's really messy and kind of wrinkly there. But otherwise, it looks like this. It has a billfold, a coin pouch, um, an ID, and a card pocket. And the card pocket does not show all there. So that's the finished thing. Now I have two. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is a Tape Tactical video. Comment, like, subscribe, and watch more of the Tape Tactical videos.